Yo what's up guys Tanmay for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on java programming so today is going to be a quick short video tutorial on the topic of instance of operator in java programming so we'll first talk a little bit about the theory and then we'll see a program example and this is going to be a very short video because it's not a very big topic so quickly open up your web browser and open up our official website that is simple snippets.tech under the courses in the core java you'll find this programming link that is instance of operator link or what i'll do is i'll just copy this entire link and i'll put it in the video description so that you directly go to this article so open up this article if you want to view the theory it's not compulsory but i'm going to cover the theory from this article so let me just zoom in a little bit okay so the instance of operator in java is used to test whether the object is an instance of a specified type class or subclass or interface okay so that is the one major important use of instance of operator is to check the type of the object or the class or to match it with a particular class so basically the instance of in java is also known as comparison operator because it compares the instance with the type okay and it returns either true or false so if we apply the instance of operator with any variable that has null value it will return false we'll see an example so there's a program example over here you can pause the video and go through this or you can open up this website article later on to just go through the program but what we'll do is we'll try to code it ourselves also before moving on to the netbean side that is the programming part just go through the entire article that is instance of in java variable that has null value so we can assign null value to an any object and then if we check instance of with that object it will throw false so the output is false we'll see that in the programming example right now i'm just giving you an overview and then there is a concept of downcasting with java instance of operator so we'll cover that in part 2 so that would be probably the next video wherein i discuss upcasting and downcasting in detail because we've talked about upcasting that is in method overriding video so if you have seen that video from this playlist you must be knowing what upcasting is but yeah we'll discuss that explicitly and properly in detail in some other video right now we'll just see an example of instance of operator and how to use it so quickly open up your netbeans ide so i have already opened up mine and i have created a project so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a class so i'm going to say class animals inside that i'm just going to create void show data or just a random me method and i'm just going to print animal class i'm going to create one more class and perform inheritance so i'm going to say class dogs and i'm going to say extends animals so we've already talked about inheritance in this core java programming playlist so if you are new on this channel if you are viewing this video for the first time that is video by simple snippets that is by me you can check out our channel because there are a lot of programming video tutorials and i have a complete core java programming playlist so i've covered a lot of topics there also and moving on i'm just going to create one more void show data so basically i'm overriding this animal class method so you can see that yellow bulb and i am added that override annotation inside this i'm just going to say dog class okay now in the main method what i'll do is i'll create an object of dogs so i'll say dogs d1 is equal to new dogs and now i can check if this d1 object is of dogs and i can also check if this d1 object is of animal type and the way we check it is by using the instance of operator so this is how the syntax goes so i'm going to say if d1 space and i'm going to type instance of so you can see it's highlighted in blue because it is a keyword so i'm going to say if d1 instance of and i'm going to say dogs and inside the if block i'm just going to print yes d1 is instance of dogs and then i'm going to say else and if it's not true then i'll just print message that it is not an instance of dogs okay but now here we already know that it is an instance of dogs so of course the if, if block is only going to get executed let's save this and let's try to run this so there you go you can see yes d1 is instance of dogs now i can also check for instance of animals now ultimately we know that dogs extend animals right so ultimately dogs get all the properties from animals so d1 is by default an animal also right it does make sense 
So let's see if programming wise it makes sense or not. So if I just copy paste this entire block and if I say if d1 instance of animals. So I'll just change over here and say animals. And now let's try to again run this code. So there you go, you can see again we got yes d1 is instance of animals also. So this is how I use instance of operator. Now I can also use this instance of operator with a boolean variable because we know instance of returns true or false, right? So I can say boolean b is equal to and here I can say d1 instance of dogs. So this statement will return true, right? Because d1 is an instance of dog and that true will be stored in this variable. So since assignment always happens from RHS to LHS, the RHS value is true, which will be stored in this B1 variable. So if I just print this, I say system.out.println B value. And if I just print this, you'll be able to see that the value is true. So there you go, you can see value is true. So this is how you can use the instance of operator to find the type of the object. And this is essentially used when you are dealing with multiple objects and multiple data types that you have created, multiple classes that you have created and you are not sure which instances of what, okay? So you can use the instance of operator to check whether the object is of a certain instance or not and then you can perform certain activity. So for example, if you want to find out whether an object is of animals type or whether that object is of person type and depending upon what the result is, you're going to perform separate activity, right? So in that case, you can use the instance of operator. So this was just one application of instance of operator and this was just a short video to showcase how to use instance of operator. In the next video, we'll see in detail the concept of upcasting and downcasting and it's an important concept to understand because sometimes students get confused in that concept. So I'll try to make it as easy as possible. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood this small concept of instance of operator in Java. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments that you liked it. And if you find this information, you'll just share it with your friends so that even they get this knowledge. Also, if you're new on this channel, subscribe to this channel guys, because there are a lot of technology oriented video tutorials that I put on this channel regularly. And we already have a lot of them. So you can check those out as well. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.